everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is week four, zone four of the Fly Lady cleaning system. I'm on the third floor. Week four for me is my master bathroom and my bedroom. So tonight we are going to be in the master bathroom. And to be honest, there is barely any cleaning that needs to happen in here. Why? Because Sophia swishes and swipes every day and I've been cleaning it consistently. Uh, it's Wednesday night. I just got back from karate so it's already 7.45 almost. What I'm going to do today is basically just a 15 minute declutter that you do in your zone every single week. So there are some things that I want to get rid of in here um, and some of you are probably rolling your eyes thinking like ah there's no way she's getting rid of makeup and you're right. I am not getting rid of makeup but there is a lot of stuff here over there that needs to go so uh, let me tell you what's going on in this area and uh, but first I'm gonna give you a tour so when you come in this is the set of shelves that I have and don't mind the tripod right here and it's really just unsightly and and let's face it Sophia's got too much product okay we know that okay we, we really do so here's the uh, vanity sink area it's swish and swipe daily guys so it's clean the mirror is clean I have my brushes here I don't have any makeup all over the place uh, except that I didn't close this and then you've seen the toilet nobody really needs to see a toilet and then I never replaced the shower curtain guys because we like it in white so that's that and then the floor is what it is um, I will recover it at some point I just don't know when so what I'm gonna do tonight is this area because I really want to streamline this I'm not gonna remove shelves today but I think that eventually I'm going to remove this set of shelves here and just skip this one. So I just got to go through the stuff that's in here. Um, this is my empties here. This is for the upcoming video. So obviously I'm going to keep that basket in here because that's practical for me to put my empties in there. But there's a lot of things here that I need to just get rid of. So let me put the camera on the tripod and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this big mess. So I really hope that you are being inspired by this kind of videos. I just want to be a testament that when you commit to a program and a system that you feel is working for you and you do it consistently for an extended period of time, this is my third month now doing the Fly Lady, it really starts to show results. Um, and in my case, it's just a general appearance of my house. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it clean? as though I had done a spring cleaning. Now, there's some areas that still, you know, need to be spot treated here and there. There's some areas that still need to be um, more thoroughly cleaned. But when you walk into this bathroom, it is not in your face that there is chaos all around. And that's really all I was looking for. A system that was going to allow me to have a routine that was workable and a schedule that was not overwhelming and taking over my entire life because that's really not what I want to do. I'm not the best cleaner in the world and I'm definitely not the one person that you would go to in terms of finding a routine and emulating a routine. So obviously I had to pick somebody else's work and that's the fly lady and for me it just works you guys. I mean come on look at my bathroom. How many times have you seen my bathroom being a complete disaster and I don't have to panic and or pre-clean or anything before I show you the bathroom. I just walk in here, start filming and that's it. So what am I going to do today? This area here is just plain ugly, okay? And obviously it's because it's an open area and there's only one cupboard and that's underneath the sink and that's already taken by a lot of items. However, maybe those items don't need to be in there and take over the entire cabin. So matter of fact, let's look at it now. So this is the uh, cabinet that's underneath my sink. So I have those two boxes in here, um, right there. And obviously I don't need to keep all of this stuff in here. So there's one that is products um, that are to be used and it's basically Scott and I. So I also have here Whoa, it's so heavy. Another box of soaps. And you remember, I'm not buying any new soap until I finish the soaps that I have. And look, I'm doing pretty good. I have been emptying this. So one thing I can do is consolidate those two, because after all, this is the backup uh, box where we find all the stuff that we use on a regular basis. So I'm just gonna put this stuff in here. So this can go. 
But this box, obviously, I need to keep here. So I'm going to put these cotton wells in here. And that's that. Okay, so we have one box. The second one is this one here. And this is where I keep all of the um, travel bags. And Lord knows I have a lot of travel bags. So I'm just going to put this here close this and you know what it doesn't need to be in the bathroom I can easily store that in the basement downstairs I have the uh, spare room where I have to sump pump that's gonna go in there if you know my house because I've shown you every corner of it you probably know which one I'm talking about that's the one that's behind the red chair and that is pretty bare because I've decluttered a lot so that's gonna go in there because I really don't need to keep it here uh, let's face it it's not like we travel a lot okay right so what am I gonna do with all this stuff now um there's the Tiffany box uh, I love this box and it contains grout <laughs> I kid you not grout okay because I didn't finish the bathroom floor so I tell you what I don't need to keep this here I don't plan on doing the bathroom floor um, in a while actually I may not even do it because we're thinking about putting floating boards on it so that can go downstairs as well my empties um, this is coming up to you guys by the way pretty soon Ooh. Just a preview, this is excellent. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Excellent stuff. All right, um, that can go underneath the sink. At least I don't see it all the time. Okay, now we have this container here, which is mine, and I have some cologne water. Can you see, hold on. Probably can see better that way. All right, this is Scott's Corn. And then I have um, talcum powder, which I like to use but should not be using. This is so old. And now pink chiffon, you guys, it's discontinued. I don't even know if this one still smells good. Let's test it out. It does. I am keeping it. Okay, we have um, tissue that can go in my bedside table. I don't need this here. Um, Chanel talcum powder. This is, this is so old. This is like a gift from Scott. We're talking eight years, probably. Oh, you guys, I don't even think it still smells good. Hold on. Oh, I think I'm going to have to part with this. No, I don't want to part with this, but I think I have to because it doesn't smell good anymore. Oh, it's got to go. Ah, oh, that is terrible. Okay. I let it go. This progress. Okay. Um, this thing here. This is a uh, electric shaver, uh, Remington thing. Um, I don't use it. Goodbye. Uh, what do we have here? Oil. I keep that. And then this is the other one from Scott. So now I have this basket here. I'm going to put it to the side. We're looking into Scott's stuff. Um, what does he have here? This is all the stuff that he keeps. I'm not going to touch his stuff because I don't know what he... Is. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. Do your husbands do that? Do they keep their old blades? I don't know why he does, okay? I have no idea. He takes out a new blade. He, he, I guess he has a system and he knows what he's doing with it because I'm looking at this and I cannot tell you for the life of me which one is the new blade and which one is the old blade. So he's gonna have to sort it out. Um, this thing here, I don't even think it works anymore. But look at, look. All right, I'll buy a new one. They're cheap enough. Um, that's his that That can go. Ugh, why do we need two bottles of Advil? I do not know. So we're going to consolidate these. Or marry them, if you remember from working in restaurants. That's what you call it. You marry the stuff. And this thing started to work now because I kicked it to the side. It's going, no, oh, you know what, let me get rid of it, it's too old. This thing is so old. Okay, that can go, I'll buy another one. Not only is it old doll, but it's got like rust. Come on, I can let go of this, all right? 
it's gotta go. It's quite practical to have it here rather than having to bend down into the cupboard or the cabinet to get it. So it's gonna stay here, but I'm gonna put it at the bottom because that way it's less ugly. Whatever, Sophia. It sounds good enough. Okay, what do we have here? Another basket with a, uh, uh, a winter thing. Obviously doesn't belong here. A ton of bobby pins, one of which fell, and a remnants of my dieting days. <laughs> <laughs> measuring tape um, and a plastic cap that I don't know where it belongs. So I have a place specifically for um, bobby pins and whatnot and that's in my vanity so that basket can go. My shower cap. Um, I guess it can stay here. I don't know. It should be in the drawer, shouldn't it? Okay. The samples. Uh, you know, I get subscription to samples, but I also get um, a gazillion samples when I go to the department store and I buy stuff. So I still have a lot of um, Elizabeth Arden samples. I have some Estee Lauder sample. I have some more Estee Lauder sample. I have a clinic sample. These do not belong here. We're talking about little clips, so that's gonna go in the thing. What do I do with these? Um, am I going to use them? Probably so, in between purchasing new skincare. I like to keep those handy. Do they belong here? No, I'm gonna put them in my vanity because I have enough room in there. Um, because I've decluttered. Okay, okay, so this is my everyday basket. This is where I reach for stuff. So the clip that can go with the rest. I have a um, quite elegant, I might add, um, bracelet i'm sure some of you think it's hideous and that's okay um this is um costume jewelry but i really like chunky bracelet this one i like a lot so we know where that goes okay uh, what else do i have in here do you like looking into other people's stuff because i love doing that okay i have this deodorant which is the replacement from the spray and let me see do i have the spray as the empty for next time so but this one here to replace this one here. And when I do the empties, I'll talk about that. And then the following month, I'll talk about this one. But that's the deodorant I'm using right now. So let me put it to the side. Okay, I got two cleansers here. I have an Elizabeth Arden oil cleanser that I'm gonna talk about and probably rave like you've never heard me rave about any other product before. I'm keeping that. This is Stefania's cleanser, I love it. I use that in the morning. And then the other one I use at night. This, um doctor wellness pore thing i cut that real cheap at tj maxx 2.99 let me smell it yeah it's actually all right but it doesn't need to be in this basket so i'm going to put it in my drawer okay what do we have a silica pack we don't need that and an old thing basket is empty i can get rid of it or relocate because it's a pretty basket so i think i'm going to keep it look i'm making progress all right um and it sounds like it's more than 15 minutes i am aware okay we got another one of those we know exactly what to do with it that's gonna go in the um other basket okay oils oil oil more oil more oil these are all body oils do i need four body oils no Okay, this one, I love it. This is the uh, Bird's Bee. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to wash the container and that's gonna go by my bedside, so I'm keeping that. Um, the coconut oil, that can go. See, coconut oil, I love it in the winter because it gets congealed. Is that a word? Who cares? You know what I mean? It gets all white and gooky and pasty, and it's much easier to scoop it out. Um, but in the summer in my bathroom, it gets pretty much like a liquid, and it's just awful to use. So what I'm gonna do with this is take it uh, downstairs, and I'm gonna keep it in the basement, and then when it's winter again, I'll bring it up. Um, that makes no sense, right? I can't even open it, I got oil on my hands. I have um, castor oil, which I use on my hair, um, not regularly enough, and I should. They supposedly are great for women who've had uh, breast cancer, or any kind of cancer, and had to do chemotherapy, 
and you do that on your scalp and your hair supposedly grows 10 times thicker gorgeous hair and I have a friend of mine um, who actually uses that she's Egyptian and she uses that every week she does a hot castor oil um, treatment to her hair you gotta see this girl's hair it's gorgeous okay she should be in magazines so I use that not consistent with it but I do and then the avocado oil remember when I did a, a big review on this look to see I'm still using it okay so that I can keep um, does it need to be in here no so it looks like I've managed to empty those two shelves and that's really what I wanted to do so now what am I gonna do with this stuff Scott has a basket um, all my stuff is in the drawers so I don't need a basket but what am I going to do with the perfumes? So I guess these can go here. Can you see? Okay. Because I do use those every morning as um, splashes. And then we're going to put Scots right here. Garden shears. Um, okay. Let's move to the other area. So this goes downstairs, this goes to my bed, and then this, what do I do with it? I sh I'm not supposed to use talcum powder. Um, I just got rid of it. So whoever told you that the fly lady is all about cleaning is not true, you decluttered too, okay? Okay, so what do we have here? All right, um, that's a mask, keep. This I just put it in. This keep. This is great. I'll talk about it. This is my hair stuff that's made right here. This is awesome. Okay. These are the creams I'm using right now. Um, this one I did not like. This is the Ultimate Miracle Worker um, by Philosophy. This is an eye cream. I didn't like that. Um, I, I really don't. I saw that can go. Okay. What a waste. What a waste. Okay. This thing here. You know, I can't remember the last time I used this, but um, I'm going to start using it again. Okay, this keep, this purity. I don't like philosophy, okay? I'm sorry. I don't like it. The Thatcher is empty. I loved it. It's too much money. I'm going to keep this, this, that can go. These are samples. This is a honey. Um, this is nah, I don't like that. I got that in a... Um, I think Ipsy bag that I did not review, that was the July one. I'm going to skip on July, guys, okay? Um, this is the Detoxifying Mud Mask by Hey Honey. Uh, too sticky. No, didn't like it. Uh, we got some cortisone cream here that I got to put somewhere else. These I did not try yet, so we're going to keep that. Okay, I got a leftover of the ceramide thing. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so the stuff I'm using daily, I'm going to put it here. Okay. Uh, the samples they can go a little bit more in the back this doesn't fit yes it does and this I don't have room um okay samples you know sometimes you start projects or you start doing decluttering or you start a new cleaning system like I did with the fly lady and you start you know kind of analyzing what's going on in your life and some of your biggest flaws and it's very apparent to me that if you give me space, I will figure out a way to put stuff in it. Like if I limit the amount of boxes and I limit the amount of shelves I have in this um, bathroom, very obviously I will not fill them up with all sorts of junk. And I'm going to prove that to you. This is now what is left after decluttering this bathroom. Um, I have three sets of shelves that are completely empty. I have a Sophia basket, the one right here, that includes my daily uh, washing stuff and then uh, my after shower splash, whatever, cologne water, and Scott's basket. And then there's nothing, and then there's leftover toilet paper. So, you know, <laughs> I may not even need the shelves at all because I could kind of redo the inside of this cabinet here and figure out a way to put Scott and I's basket. But didn't I just say that I didn't want to have to bend down to get that stuff. So for now, we're going to keep um, the shelves that are here 
and then these eventually I will have to take them down and I will um, I guess have to patch the holes and repaint and that's okay so now this is where we are here there's nothing much going on still and I put all my bobby pins here in this drawer and then this mask until it's finished I can keep it here um I should finish there's maybe two masks left that's it so tomorrow I'm not filming um we have an event we need to attend so nothing going on Friday I don't know I usually I come home very very late because I'm doing the round of all the hospitals in the area so I usually don't get home until like almost eight o'clock I don't think I'm gonna do anything so I'll finish this bathroom um which I don't think I need to do anything because, you know, I'm not touching the makeup area. Um, I'll just mop the floor on Sunday morning. And then the next time you'll see me probably would be, for me, would be Saturday morning. I will finish uh, zone four and that is my master bedroom. So I'll see you in a second. For me, it's going to be Saturday, but for you right now. Welcome back to zone four. We are in my bedroom. Now, my bedroom is chaos right now and it's just proof that the fly lady system only works for you if you work the system this past month i did nothing in my bedroom i didn't pick up anything matter of fact a lot of stuff that was downstairs landed here this is the new hot spot okay so it's a disaster you've seen my bedroom in really really bad shape it's in bad shape again um, I have no other excuse that I've been extremely busy uh, the past two weeks, actually. We're putting the house together. We're doing some projects here and there. Weekends have been basically full with stuff I was doing and not enough time getting up too early and going to bed too late, not spending the 15 minutes you're supposed to spend in your zone cleaning your area. So a total fail for month three on zone four in my bedroom i'm going to give you a quick tour before i do that i want to show you the plaque that i put on the wall because i know that a lot of you have asked whether or not i did a video on it and i didn't i just you know installed it that was it um and then we're gonna get started everything needs to be done in here i need to change the sheets i need to pick up the stuff i need to uh bag laundry i need to dust i need to clean i need to scrape some surfaces and i have a ton of paperwork that landed here that needs to be sorted out so yeah it's going to be taking me a lot of time just in case you didn't think my life was busy enough after that i gotta build edward's bed we already built the headboard and the um, bedside table but i have to build the bed and because um, all that stuff was delivered sometimes over the week like every day there was an item being delivered um so i have to do that it's gonna be like a really hectic day it's sunday by the way <laughs> in case you're wondering so you remember my staircase which i read it i don't know like two years ago and uh you all know that it's a cathedral ceiling so there was only one place in the house where i could put the plaque and it's here and of course i gotta wait for the light to come in so here it is um I think it looks really really good scott and i like it it is big we agree on that but that was the only place where we could put it from this angle so that's what it looks like and the material is metal um it's pretty pretty heavy but it's not like it's a thin layer basically of uh, cast iron that's what it is uh and it's mounted on the back it's mounted on wood so this thing here is about I'd say about 60 pounds, something like that. So it was really, really difficult to put in, but I have it lodged into the um, stud that's on the other side. So that's the plaque. Enough wasting time. Let's see what kind of chaos we're talking about when we walk into my bedroom. So here are the stairs and yeah, this is the bedroom right now. You guys, I didn't lie, it's a big mess. So yeah, um, pfft, I don't know what to say. All of this stuff here needs to be resorted. Um, these are the boxes I removed from the bathroom, so they need to go downstairs. Scott's got some stuff here. My junk is actually not bad at all. My uh, All my clothes are filed in. But I do have more stuff here that was moved around um, when we moved the plaque and, and all of this stuff. I have to change the sheets, I have to vacuum. Um, the top of the dressers need to be dusted. Here's the um, air conditioner we installed, which we're not using right now. So I'm gonna start with the bed, um, only because it's gonna be making the room look better right away. I usually change the sheets on Thursdays. I didn't do it this time around. So let me get started with that and then probably tackle this area here. All right, done, and that's looking much better. Uh, let me tackle this big pile here. I'm gonna move that away from the sun. 
so you can see what I'm doing. It's basically a whole bunch of stuff I brought back from the office and various other parts of the house. For those of you who are neat freaks and are perfectly capable of doing constant cleaning and having your house in order at all time, you have no idea how the rest of us envy you. You really don't. Um, because it just, for some of you, this stuff looks really easy. Like, oh, why don't you just pick up after yourself? Why don't you just do this, that, and the other? Okay, well, it, it all makes sense. However, things happen and some of us get really distracted uh, with, you know, life in general. So I got magazines here. Obviously, they need to go downstairs. A book on country living. Yes, country living. Because obviously, Sophia is uh, refusing to accept that she lives in the burbs. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so some of you probably think, well, you know, it's laziness, it's this, it's that and the other. And no, it's not. It's just that we get distracted. We just don't see value in doing this stuff all the time. Um, and it's true. I mean, if you don't buy into having your house sorted out at all time um, and living like a picture perfect magazine home, well, then you're just not going to do it. For those of you who, for who this is very important and you need to have picture perfect houses, um, it's second nature for you to get this stuff done. For me, it's not. And I'm pretty sure that for a lot of the viewers on this channel, it's not second nature either. So it's something that either we make second nature and it just is a work in progress and you just keep working at it until you eventually get the habit or it's just never going to be you and you need to accept um, the way you live. And I can't do that. I cannot accept the way I live. I just, I'm struggling and just like weight loss, it is a struggle. So, ay -ay -ay. Um, let me just sort through this and figure out what I'm going to do with that. So I have piles. Some of it is going to be office, some of it is going to be trash, some of it is going to be uh, bring back downstairs. I think this bedroom is absolutely beautiful um, but I have the green carpet and it will be removed eventually just not now listen I got too many projects to do in this house okay I can't just do all of them at once I have to take my time and then you know uh, whatever so um, a tie Scott doesn't wear ties the kids don't wear tie why is there a tie I don't know <laughs> okay that's gonna go in, in uh, Scott stuff okay um, that's clean. The problem here in this room is that I really like this area here, the balcony, and I like to keep it with nothing on it, but I have this darn laundry basket, and it just takes so much room in the bathroom, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it in the bathroom, because that way it's out of sight. Um, I just like this corner. I don't want to see anything there. Okay, Scott's thing, he works out every night. You probably noticed that, unlike me, he's losing weight. Um, this goes back into the attic. Oop, that's the fire extension. Okay, so that's the attic. All right, so what am I gonna do with this corner? Obviously, this here needs to stay connected because that's for the TV and that's the firebox. Um, 
But it doesn't have to be connected here, it can be connected on this side. And then the firebox, I got to put it behind the TV. Now, this. I don't really want to see it here anymore. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Or maybe I'll just keep that. This can go mirror. Do you know how many mirrors I got in this house? I don't think I'm going to keep it. This, I said I was going to repair it, and I still have it. You know, part of doing the fly lady is decluttering, and decluttering is uh, something that you do on an ongoing basis. So I'm looking at this corner right now, and I really don't need this lamp, okay? Let's be honest, I never turn it on. So guess what? I don't like the visual of having this while you're here. I'm just letting go of the lamp. I'm probably going to be able to reuse it uh, somewhere else in the house. If even that, I may even just part with it. Okay, I, because we never turn it on. So what's why have it there as visual clutter? So now my corner looks much better. Um, I just have these two here that are pair of pants that need to go somewhere else. And I finally got this corner empty, which is the way I like it. Lesson learned, when you work 15 minutes in your zone every day, you don't have to do it all at once on a Sunday like I did and basically spend an hour and a half of your life. You'll never get back <laughs> because that's how long it took to do this entire room. So I'm a little out of breath because I just finished vacuum. So I'm going to show you what it looks like as a final result. Hopefully, I'm going to keep it that way. So we shall see next month when I'm in zone four whether or not this room has been maintained. I'm trying you guys, I really am. So here's the bedroom from the bathroom door basically. Um, I still have some clothes here that Scott's but he's got to uh, figure out what he wants to do with it. I don't know if he wants to wear it again or if it goes to the laundry. Um, here's the bed. So I did vacuum the floor. So here's Scott's area. I vacuumed the floor and I dusted the surfaces. Uh, I didn't film everything, but you saw that anyway. Parts of it and then the corner here looks much better without anything here. The vacuum is still there because I just vacuumed the floor, um, the steps. And later on in the day, I'm going to just go ahead and mop everything because that's part of the weekly home blessing hour. And my corner here has got nothing and I really like it like that much better. It, it makes the room larger. So I put the um, laundry basket in the bathroom. So that's it. That's the bedroom and the end of zone four. Okay, big thumbs up if you continue to like this video series. If you want me to continue to do a zone cleaning for month four in August, let me know down below, comment. Don't forget to subscribe right here if you're brand new and you've never watched my videos before. This is your first time. That way you don't get to miss anything uh, that's coming up. I'm going to take a quick break and then I am going to start building Edward's bed. I'm going to film that too, but you're not going to see that video at least until next week or maybe the week after that. So, because um, I'm trying to be ahead of schedule here. Anyway, thank you for watching. Again, big thumbs up if you like this video. Share it if you really, really like it. And I guess I will see you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.